This is very simple. All taxes ultimately do this. They forcibly take money away from an efficient part of our country and they transfer it to an inefficient, bloated, corrupt part of our country. The government, it's that simple. So it's not that we should have zero taxes, it's that you're calling for doubling, which is to take more money from a efficient part of the economy towards a bloated federal government that is already spending $6 trillion a year. The biggest the government has ever been. What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back going to a new video. Today we're gonna to check it out. Charlie Kirk crushes socialist students demanding higher taxes. Okay, I couldn't Charlie kick because of kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. Uh, I'm the vice president of the College Democrats of Washington, but I love having debates with uh, and learning from folks with whom I disagree. Uh, my question is about the corporate tax rate and specifically the top marginal corporate tax rate. Uh, why do you believe that increasing uh, the top marginal corporate tax rate would stifle innovation and harm our economy? Well, I mean, by definition, first of all, the government is already way too big and we shouldn't raise taxes as it is. Um, I mean, we have a $6 trillion federal budget right now. But it depends on what you mean by a corporation. Do you mean Apple or do you mean your local laundromat? Uh, well, the uh, top marginal corporate tax rate, so uh, well, let's well, just say for large cap companies over $10 billion. F fair enough, yeah. Because, because the way that the tax code is written is that you could, you could, you could form an S-corp or a C-corp or an LLC and they get treated very similarly. But I mean, what is your question? Why do I think it will stifle innovation? Well, the more the government takes, then the less money the companies will have to actually invest in products for research and development. And I'm not a defender of corporations. In fact, I think corporations are doing a lot of damage to this country right now. So. Yeah, but uh, I would personally advocate for increasing it, perhaps to double what it is right now at 21%. Um, well, of course, you're a Democrat. You want more money that isn't yours. No, because uh, when you say that, like, Increasing this tax rate will stifle innovation. The entrepreneurs themselves uh, well, disagree on. with you. Let, well, Bill think. Gates himself called this idea yeah, uh, "quote unquote" nonsense. Yeah, it's easy for Bill Gates. He's worth 120 billion dollars, so he can, you know, jet around the world complaining about climate change and trying to get people to take vaccines they don't need. It doesn't affect him, right? Microsoft is worth three trillion dollars. They're they're too big to fail. This is very simple. All taxes ultimately do this. They forcibly take money away from an efficient part of our country and they transfer it to an inefficient, bloated, corrupt part of our country. The government, it's that simple. True. So it's not that we should have zero taxes, it's that you're calling for doubling, which is to take more money from a efficient part of the economy towards a bloated federal government that is already spending $6 trillion a year, the biggest the government has ever been. I mean, I would push back on the idea that it is an efficient part of the economy. Look at, for example, Microsoft and Apple. Both of these companies have over $150 billion in cash on hand. Not cash that is being used for R&D, uh, cash that is just sitting in bank accounts. Um, and I would like to point out that these two companies, the two most valuable companies in the world, uh, were founded while the corporate tax rates were significantly higher than they are right now. So of course now, like they're massive behemoths, it doesn't affect them. But when these companies were getting started, um, like the corporate tax rates were incredibly high. Because Many it didn't of impact most them, because they were getting so. started. It didn't impact them, they True. were getting started, like you said. No, but even when they, after, after they got started. And but then let, they, hold on, let's play this out, because they weren't turning a profit for the first 30 years. Like, learn something about Microsoft's history. No, no, I, no Hold on I, a second. I, they didn't pay any taxes for 20 years. No corporation worth any salt or an accountant that knows what they're doing is not gonna pay any taxes for 20 years. Why? You're gonna, you're gonna intentionally show losses to not pay taxes. Taxes, by definition, are only going to be on profits. So Apple and Microsoft, being very nifty, they said, we're just going to keep on showing de deficits and showing losses, therefore evading all corporate taxes for 20 years. And where do they get their money? By boosting the stock price, by going through an IPO, an initial public offering, and then eventually going on the public market and boosting their valuation by showing losses, but their valuation is actually much greater than the quote-unquote profit. Does that make sense? The profit margin. So the argument doesn't make, doesn't, doesn't no, hit. No, but when you look at the profit margins, Microsoft was an incredibly profitable company even within well, they, 15 they years. Are, they are now, obviously. No, no. Even at the beginning, software is the biggest money printer no, in the history they, of they, the they world. They weren't profitable, that's the point, is that they spent more than they brought in. They had good revenue. You know the difference in revenue and profit, obviously. No, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, but these companies intentionally did not turn a profit for the first couple decades. They'd be silly to do that. No, no, they, they were profitable, that's my point. They had a price to earnings ratio. 
Microsoft in the 80s and the 90s was a profitable company. No, I, I understand, but, you're, but the, the point being is that these startup companies that have to go all the way back into the business literature of every single year, they intentionally, just using as an example, their stock is leveraged to not actually post earnings. Hmm. So if you want to tax revenue, that's a separate issue, right? Because a lot of no, these I'm companies aren't profit, even, yeah. not, not, not revenue, profit, yeah. Okay, that, yeah, that's a separate issue. But again, we have a difference of opinion here. I don't want to give the government any more of our money, and, and you do. That's that, and so we just disagree. Okay, okay. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. Raising taxes right now would be really, really afraid to a lot of people. Like, a lot of people, including me. <laughs> because I, I, don't feel, I don't think we should raise taxes. The level it is right now, it's, it's enough. Like, it's, 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 it's high. <laughs> if I would say it's high. So, to increase the um, corporate taxes more than this, it's terrible. Like, it's, it's, it's really, really bad. So, I feel like we should not try to um, raise the taxes. It, we should leave it the way it is. Um, I see the student's point of view, the socialist student, um, he's making some points, but I feel like, nah, 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 nah. When it comes to taxes, increase, to increase taxes, uh, there's no way. Okay, it's, it's actually true that it does not affect Microsoft, it does not affect Brigitte. If they have increased increased corporate taxes, it really does. If they have to increase the corporate taxes, it really does not affect big as a whole. So the government take taxes for we the citizens, massive taxes. Okay, we are paying our taxes for this. Then they go put it in something that is inefficient, <laughs> something that is crazy. Like you be like, am I paying my like is my tax part of this? <laughs> so it's kind of like crazy, like. The governments do this every single time. Like they take they take the taxes of the masses of everyone, also corporations. Then they put it in something that is not. For me, I'll call it not significant enough, and it's something that we don't have any choice. Our tax is already there; is already there. We can't we can't tell them to bring it out because you are a citizen and you have, um. Yeah, you are obliged to pay taxes. You understand? It, you can't just change the system. That is how it is. Even in the time of the Bibles, um, time of the Bible, everyone have to pay taxes. Give to Caesar what is Caesar. You understand? Well, when when you give your your what, your stress, your sweat, you understand? So to government as you tax and they take out your tax money and put it into some some corporation or organization that is literally not adding any significant benefits to anyone in the society it's it's crazy like it's 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 really really draining like i feel like why am i paying taxes here why is my taxes why is my taxes going over here I, I, like if i can redirect it to somewhere else i will do that so corporations during this time in the 18th and 19th centuries like they were not actually showing out they were not actually paying taxes they were actually paying kind of like they try zero taxes because they were not showing the profits that they were making they were showing their losses so you can only take taxes from corporations and also individuals if they're making profits. Like, I'm doing a job right now and I'm being paid a certain amount of money, then you can take part of it. So if you have to show losses that you're not making literally any money and there's nothing there, <laughs> then the government have nothing to take from you. You understand? So if, if you have to ask me, corporations um, during those um, 18th century, 19th centuries, I'm, I'm not saying some of them were not paying taxes, but some of them that were starting up were actually not paying any taxes because they were actually losing money to get the idea to start working. So if you think about what Charlie is saying right here, like it makes absolutely massive sense, like big sense, and I actually support him. Like if you think about it, clearly, you know, okay, it's true. But this student right here, his point of view is clear to me. I understand where he's coming from. But um, increasing taxes won't change how the society is operating right now, uh, just that it, it's even worse than it. You understand? Because the taxes people are paying right now, it's really, really massive. And where the tax, taxes we are paying is directed to, it's very, very annoying. Because taking massive money from the society and putting it in, should I call it? <laughs> I don't know what name I'm going to call it. Well, putting it in something that is not significant enough, like it's, it's, it's terrible. But this entire video was nice. I love how Charlie handled the students. I love how Charlie put him straight and tell him that, okay, this is where you agree with me. This is where I agree with you. And um, we have, there was no agreement, but we came to a conclusion. <laughs> so it was really, really nice watching this entire video. I love how Charlie handled it. I love the student's point of view. He was not aggressive and he was there to 
point out his view, not try to accept what Charlie was saying, but to point out his view about um, why they should increase um, more corporate taxes. So this was actually beautiful to watch. Comment down below, think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales on.